Sun Fund. Let's play. Hi, Bunholes. So, I wanted to try something a little different. Like I mentioned in my other video, I have braces now, and they tend to hurt a lot when I'm talking, or I guess talking a little normal, like loud. And if I speak more softly, it doesn't seem to make them hurt as much. So I figured I'd try something totally different and maybe even kind of weird. But on one of my gameplay videos, someone in the comments said that um, they like hearing me talk while I'm game when I'm playing games and when I talk more calm instead of my incredibly loud, obnoxious, weird voice. It's got an ASMR quality to it. Um, I actually enjoy some ASMR myself, but I am not fond of the ones where they touch things and click things and um, whisper all the time, and I think whispering is a little too much. I don't know. So instead of whispering, I'm gonna do soft-spoken. So anyway, I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2, and I fucking love this game. It is so awesome. Um, it's got quite a bit of bugs in it, like Skyrim, but... Um, been playing the hell out of it and I wanted to share at least some of the cool experiences of the gameplay and things I've been doing in between missions so hopefully you enjoy so anyway this is Arthur Morgan the main character of the game and uh, you can make him a good guy or a bad guy I in my first gameplay I'm doing a good guy so let me introduce you to my beautiful beautiful horse her name is Lily I named her Lily because she reminds me of the unicorns in the movie Legend. She's actually the same breed. She is an Ar Arabian. And see her stats at the bottom left. She's actually one of the strongest, fastest horses you can get in the game. That is, if you can find her and tame her. And I was able to bond with her very, very quickly. Um, when you get a new horse, you have to... Um, uh, you have to make them warm up to you in order to get um, more abilities and increase health. So as you can see, the saddle is actually crafted that I found um, some, uh, I think it was a panther or something, and on her butt is a few animal hides that I found. I also have a, oops, excuse me, a rattlesnake. Um, so. When I first played this game, I really didn't want to hunt because the animals are way too realistic and I feel so guilty when I shoot them. But it turns out hunting is the most fun because you um, can get all kinds of goodies to sell meat that you can either cook yourself or give to the campsite with... Ooh, okay, this does it every time. You have to select auto save. At least each time you start playing. Anyway, um, he has a he has a bunch of people at a camp. His people, and uh, you have to supply them with food and uh, other stuff. So I don't feel quite as guilty when I am. Oh, there's Moogie. Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop recording for a second. My dog is very spazzy whenever there's just someone walking their dog outside. Anyway, um, so what was I saying? Damn it, I forgot what I was talking- oh, animals and hunting, that's right. Um, hunting is really a lot of fun and it's actually very rewarding when you can give the items to the people in the camp. And I have a bunch of weapons that uh, I've customized myself. I'll show them to you. Right now, I got my favorite rifle- one of my favorite rifles is the Springfield rifle, which has a lot of uh, customizations you could see including engravings of a ram's head i used chair a dark cherry wood uh var garnish i think it's called and the sights are made of silver and i normally wouldn't want to decorate the weapons because i don't think it matters but when you have the weapons um on your person or we're using the sunlight sh they just shimmer and they look so pretty um, my other favorite weapon that I've recently acquired is an Evans repeater it's uh, always been a favorite of mine since Red Dead 1 because it's a uh, lightweight short even though it's got a scope and as you can see I pimped this one out too I think I used nickel plating um, and the engravings are really cool and uh, let's see oh I've got an eagle on the stock you can also take a closer look at it like this. Very cool. You can zoom in. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Um, you can also aim to 
could just take a look at the barrel. It's just for show. It, you know, it doesn't really serve a purpose. However, when you're looking at a weapon, um, like I've got these really cool pistols here. Um, you can clean the gun if it's dirty, because if you don't clean your guns that often, they um, have a tendency to jam, and uh, you don't want that to happen. So, here's my other, uh, well, this is a Cattleman revolver. Oh, Callaway, excuse me. I got the, I didn't decorate these. These actually belong to different characters that I had to fight, and then you can take their guns after, which is really cool. Oh, I think this gun might actually need cleaning. So anyway, if you take out some gun oil, you can watch him do it, or you can tap the uh, tap the square button to do it faster. It only takes a few seconds, and gun oil is very cheap, so you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, so that is the gist of some weapons. I have a lot of weapons at this point. I think I'm on chapter four. <laughs> okay, so I forget where I am right now. I am in. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm in northern west Elizabeth. This area here, I cannot enter because, as you can see, it says I'm wanted, dead or alive. Oh boy. So I need to avoid this area because in the beginning of the game, um, Arthur and his camp buddies, well, they're all outlaws and they're, they're robbers and stuff. So we did something naughty down here, so I can't go back down there. At least not until later in the game, I assume, because it's there's a big chunk of the map that's still missing. Also, okay, if I zoom out all the way, I've actually explored at least the whole map that I have access to right now. Um, our camp has moved to different locations, and right now we're in a place called Shady Bell, which is um, an abandoned, like a plantation mansion or something. Um, so anyway, there's a lot to do, a lot that I can talk about. I'll just kind of wing it because there's too much to say, and I don't want it. I might get off track because I have ADHD. So just bear with me. Okay. I'm not sure what this is over here. I think it's uh, an old Indian... There we go. Indian reservation of some kind. Because there's uh, skeletons of teepees. A little house. There wasn't that many items around here. I always explore areas because they tend to have um, hidden items, uh, collectibles, called cigarette cards. Um, you find a pack of cigarettes, and there's like these cool little collectible cards you can pick up, so I always check for those. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Um, by pushing the L3 button, you can um, calm and bond with your horse. Um, she might be hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and feed her some uh, a carrot. Good girl. She can get hungry, she can get tired, she can get hurt. But I take really good care of my horsies, because I love animals. And I love my horse, so. Anyway, um, let's see. I'm trying to, oh, is that an item right there? I think it is. I think it's chewing tobacco. No, that's another thing. You do this thing called eagle eye. And, uh, as you can see, um, this is what you use for hunting and searching for items. Oh, that's the cool down sound. It's cool. Do it again. So if you can see this little mist blowing off of Arthur's body, that's actually his scent. Um, so if you're upwind and let's say there's an animal to my left, they'll be able to smell me and they'll run away, depending on the animal. Yeah, this is uh, chewing tobacco. And chewing tobacco is very useful because, um, as you can see, let me zoom in a minute here. See the eye, the yellow eye icon? That's called dead eye. Dead eye is used for when Arthur is in a gunfight or any time he has to use his weapon. You can slow down time, and uh, it's kind of like the Matrix or something. And um, tobacco products and alcohol, certain whoops, certain things you do um, um, makes it uh, to where it lasts longer. So. Um, because this land is just so beautiful, I figured you'd like to enjoy some scenery, and then I can look around for things to do after that. I'm going to cut for a minute and just double check the audio input. Okay, so I tested the audio. It sounds terrific. The only problem is to have the mic, my Blue Yeti mic, this close to me, is I have to, when I'm playing in my office here, um, or not the office, the gameplay room that we have, I have the, um, 
I have this little TV stand thing that I propped my microphone on, and because I'm leaning on it a little, um, it's kind of pressing on my abdomen, so I might be sounding like I'm out of breath or something. Anyway, music is gorgeous. I mean, look at this scenery, and you get real-time weather. I think it was raining a few seconds ago. That's the only, uh, there's a few complaints I have about this game, but the uh, weather effects are very cool, but rainstorms come and go way too quickly. So, um... Hey, I got an idea. I'll show you some of the outfits put together, uh, put together for Arthur before we carry on. Just uh, introduce you to some of the stuff. Um, so you can save, customize up to three outfits for Arthur. I mean, excuse me, four outfits. This is my favorite one. This is his casual outfit, as I call it, um, for hunting and warm temperatures and stuff. Um... And the other outfits I have, I have the second one. This is my cold outfit. Um, there's places in the game that are very cold. Um, there's a lot of other ones I have, but I like this one best because it just kind of reminds me of the, the dudes, the crows from uh, Game of Thrones. I have a really cool hat that I made out of a snake. Well, actually, you catch animals and then you um, take them to a trapper and he can make customizable items and saddles and clothes for you. So that's my cold outfit and my third outfit. This is what I call the criminal outfit. That's This is just so badass. I love this hat because it's folded on one side. It looks like Bill Williams' hat. Um, it's made of, uh, I think, sheepskin and rats. It's a rat skull and little bones. It's got a hole in it, but I don't care. I think he looks badass. And when I'm committing crimes um, and I don't want to get caught, I put his bandana over his face like that. Or I wear one of my criminal masks. I have a cool collection of masks. This is the, which I think it's called the skull mask. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, I've got a couple others here. I have a skull mask Psycho, which is Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of silly looking, but it's pretty cool. Um, the other one I have is my favorite. I think is Executioner Hood because he really looks like you cannot tell who he is. Um, and I found another one. This one I found in an abandoned shack. The cat skull mask isn't that wicked? Kind of looks silly too, but I think it's so cool because I love skulls. Oh. Hello? When you're around NPCs. You look like a goddamn idiot. He's <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> My god, people are snipping the fucking B NPCs. It's so funny. Oh, and then we have the cloth mask. Nah. I think that's all my masks. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the mask off. Let's see how do I uh, change my outfit again? And this is my gentleman outfit. This is the outfit I wear when I go into the fancy towns to gamble or um, whatever. Yeah, I got some cool boots and a, a really cool vest and I love those bowler hats. Anyway, so I'm gonna go back to my regular outfit. Number one, uh, I've got some cool hats as well, different hats. But anyway, I just figured this is, might be getting boring so we'll start traveling. I forget what I was doing down here. I think I was hunting. I'm trying to find an elk and a moose, and they're not easy to find. Hmm. I think that's an elk right there. A buck, maybe. Oh, see this on the map? That's what's called a legendary fish. Legendary animals and fish have little crowns on top, and uh, when you hunt them or catch them, you get some really good items. Um, he actually draws animals when you're um, exploring the map. So, like, I found beavers here. Um, I look at them, and then Arthur draws them on the on the map. Another cool thing about this game is Arthur documents almost everything in the game in his journal. I always like to read the journal. Did I? There's a graphics glitch right there. What the hell's that? Oh, I don't know. I'll go back to the journal real quick. So he's actually a very articulate, well-spoken man, and he can. Um, he really is good at drawing as well, so every time you examine or hunt an animal, he'll doodle it in the in the journal. That's a structure I found right there, the cool little abandoned shack. This was uh, based on a little, not a side mission, just a random encounter of these hillbilly guys that were, that killed a woman's husband and they were about to take her away and I saved her. 
and rode her to town. This is uh, some kind of tomb that I found. It's really cool. I'm trying to find the sketchings of of the animals. Yeah, there we go. See, this one right here is a, like a yellow Labrador. It's exotic flowers that you find, birds. He draws everything in the journal. It's so cool. Okay. So, um, I put a marker on the map, so hey, yeah. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go to the marker and see if I can find an elk to hunt. And the reason I'm looking for an elk is one of them's for meat. The other is there's trinkets and decorations for the camp that increase the morale of the uh, uh, the camp buddies. Real quick, I think I'm gonna maybe turn the volume of the speech down. Just, oops, wrong button. Um, just so it's not too loud, because when he talks I can't really hear Keep it. Oops. Yeah, this one. I have output on headphones, hoping that'll be because uh, I'm, I'm I'm actually wearing headphones right now. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, player is how you check his stats, how he's doing. Um, it's there's some kind of mechanic called the weight mechanic, and I can never ever get it just right. Average is the best I can do. If you don't eat enough, Arthur will lose weight. If you eat too much, he'll get fat. Uh, both have uh, benefits and bad things. Um, honor is uh, your uh, like whether you do bad things or good things. My honor is almost all the way up. There's some trinkets I made for different stats. Um, it tells you your. It sounds so complicated, and but once you play the game more often, it's not that complicated. But. Um, Give me one second, I'm gonna do something else, sorry. Okay. So, uh, what was I talking about? Jesus. Uh, shit. Oh, NPCs. I always like to. Hello. Hey, friend. Getting tougher. I'm getting older. Oh, he's. Strong looking speed. A lot of people compliment my horse because she's so beautiful and such a strong breed, and when yep. they compliment, I try to reply and say thank you. So, what was I talking about? Oh, oh the elk. Um, decorations for camp I don't think is a big deal, but it increases morale. Ooh. Whoa. Usually when there's a bunch of scavenger birds, they're feeding on a dead animal. I don't see anything there, but whatever. Yep. Um, so, morale of the camp, you uh, you have to provide them with uh, money. Oh, shit. Up. That is a bear. Easy. Just like real life, black bears are pretty cowardly. Oh, and my horse is actually very uncomfortable right now. If I use Eagle Eye, I can track the bear and hunt it. He's only a two star. See the bottom left, or bottom right, excuse me. A two star animal isn't worth hunting for perfect pelts. Um, you can get the meat, of course, but um, you only want to hunt animals with three stars and you have to use different weapons. <laughs> depending on the animal. So, as you can see, Lily is spooked and agitated. She freaks out when there's predatory animals nearby, and the only way to calm her down is press L3. There, girl. She's already calmed down. That's good. Whenever there's a predator that just comes out of nowhere, though, she'll buck. She'll throw um, Arthur off and run away. <laughs> she can still hear the bear, and it's making her nervous. So, uh... Oh, it looks like my stats need a little boost as well. So I'm going to eat some food I made. Minty pork. That's from hunting boars. You get pork meat. <laughs> also, my snake eye is a little low, so I'm going to go ahead and drink some snake oil. See how it turned yellow? That means it's a boost. Yeah. So anyway, um, let's continue our little journey. This game is so friggin' beautiful. I can go on and on about how gorgeous it is. Ooh, what kind of bird is that? I hate the fact that I'm killing random animals, but I need their feathers. What is that? What kind of bird is that? Damn it. It's an owl. Oh my god, owls. They're so rare. I have to get to the right vantage point. Where'd it go? God damn it. There it is. Okay, wait. I'm sorry. Oh. See, I still. What is that? What animal? What kind of animal is that? It's a rat! Oh my god, rats are rare too! Damn it! Oh, I'll have to come back later. It's a three-star rat too. Oh, I love owls and I hate the fact that I killed one, but damn it, I need its feathers, because these 
feathers are used for different weapon. Coastal horned owl, that's a new one. Um, its feathers are used for certain weapons. That's a really big owl, holy shit. Um, so this is interesting. If you catch an animal and you want to take it with you, you can stow it on your horse. Like that. Oh, I know, that's so shitty. You can, of course you can cook it. But what I'm gonna do is... Ugh, I feel like such a prick. Yeah, maybe I'll cook it, what the hell. Cook an owl? Hmm. You do get meat from almost every animal. I think you do get meat from every animal in the game, depending on... Um, so this is the bird meat, and you can cook it, <laughs> and eat it, or stow it for later. Yeah, I feel like a complete dick from doing that, but I needed its feathers. So uh, you can, from crafting, you can see this, uh, I think, owl feathers. Yeah, see what it says right there? Uh, tomahawk is like these throwable hatchets, and you can make... Uh, different ammo for them. I think I need to get some more arrow. I need to make some more arrows, so I'm gonna craft some here. You use, uh, flight feathers. I forget what else you use. What do you use for those? Um. Um. Crap, I forget. But flight feathers and, uh, small game feathers are very important because they're the only weapons you can use for small animals like squirrels, rats, uh, snakes. That is in order to get a perfect kill. You have when you're hunting and you want a perfect kill, which makes perfect pelts. Perfect pelts are the only ones worth um, putting together because if they're not perfect, you can't really get anything from them. Perfect pelts are only if you shoot the animal with the appropriate weapon and in the head, a quick kill shot. If you injured the animal, it's not good. That is a wild boar in the background. Okay. So I don't know what time it is, but um, I guess Arthur could use a nap, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'll go ahead and let him, let him sleep. You do want to let Arthur sleep. You want to feed him. And you, uh, if you want, and I always do, take him to town for a bath. <laughs> the loading screens are so beautiful. It shows you the weather. Says he has a new journal entry, but it's not always in the journal. It tends to be something he marked on the map. That might be a spoiler, so I'm gonna skip that. If you haven't played the game, I'm gonna go ahead and tear down my camp. Take a look at his belt buckle. That's a claw, a bear claw. Um, it's like a trinket. Uh, it gives you stats, and you have to collect certain items from animals and other such stuff. Trinkets. Okay, it's girl. like uh, attributes or whatever. One thing that I do constantly, because this game is pretty buggy and certain things can fuck it up, I save my game a lot. Because it's like the only way to, you know, avoid problems. You can always load your save. Okay. I have to burp. Excuse me. I know that was gross. I just had a Coke, so. Alright, so let's see, let's see. There's a lot of animals at night, and I've been hunting so much that I can tell what's what, depending on the noise. So that's a rabbit over there. What I'm hearing on the left is raccoons and wild boars. a turkey. Wild turkeys. When you examine animals or hunt them, Arthur doesn't just write them in the journal. He also You also get this thing called commendium or something, I forget. It's like a bestiary um, where you can see all the different animals and find out what they are and how to properly hunt them. There's a black-tailed jackrabbit. Only two stars, so I'm not gonna bother. There was a post- oh, okay, what's that? There's a predatory animal. It's a snake, okay. Snakes uh, scare my horse. I've actually hunted a lot of them already and I don't need any more. I'm, I'm actually keeping this snake on my horse because I want to see how long it stays fresh. Oh, oh, a black rat. X 
Jesus. I need more rats, actually. You wonder, like, what the hell do you need a rat for? Um, there's certain items you can make from them. Okay, so I'm going to track the rat. They, they're not easy to kill, though. Um, but when you're hunting at night, see the, the, the golden uh, pathway. It shows you where the animal ran off, but you have to keep up with it. Otherwise, the meter will run out. Let's see. I think I'm getting closer. But you have to use small game arrows, and you have to shoot them in the head. Otherwise, it's a wasted kill, or you might injure it. And I don't like injuring animals anyway. Damn, there's too many bushes. I'm going to spook it. These animals scamper really far away. So, oh, I think I heard it squeak. There is one. Okay. Got it. And I don't know if that was a perfect... Yep, yeah, it was. Great. So, that's how you kill a rat. Small game arrow in the head, and he puts it in his pouch. Yuck. As you can see, it was a perfect carcass. Uh, the reason I'm collecting rats... Well, one thing is I made a really cool hat out of some of them. And I'm going to make another one. <laughs> I'm a completionist, and there's so much to do in this game, it's ridiculous. So that's Eagle Eye, which is really great for... Um, Come on, girl. For hunting and finding items and herbs that you can also yeah. pick out of the ground. Push the down arrow button, I can see what time it... Ooh, it's 37 degrees, so that's cold. I better put Arthur in his cold outfit, because if he gets too cold, his stats will go down. There we go. I check the temperature. I do need another rabbit, actually. There was a poster somewhere requesting, sir, uh, a, I think it was a rabbit and a squirrel, and then I can ship it to them and they'll pay me or give me items or something. I'm not sure yet. Uh, one thing to watch out for in these woods with predators is, depending on where you are, there's bears, um, obviously snakes, and there's also um, panthers and cougars, and if there's a panther or a cougar, you need to either run the fuck away or get off the horse immediately. Make sure you have the right weapon. And you you do need to kill it or they'll kill you. Oh, there's also alligators in the swamp areas. They won't mess with you unless you mess with them. That was wild boars in the background. There's a deer. I don't need any deer, but I do need an elk. beauty in this game. Is that another rabbit? Two star. There's one behind it. Two star. Damn. Yep. What's that? Oh, that's the rabbit again. Wait, was that a three star? No, two star. Okay. Two star animals don't even bother. Certain uh, birds are also rare. To, they're hard to find. Like I said, owls, eagles, songbirds. I don't like killing them, but if you their feathers can be used for certain materials, clothing, or you can sell them. Or kind of thing. When, I, when I kill certain animals and skin them, um, it's very realistic and pretty graphic, and I don't like watching it. I, I tend to turn the camera a certain direction so that uh, so I don't have to see him peel the skin off. It's really gross, and I feel guilty. This game is so real; it's ridiculous. So I made a marker here, hoping there's um, elk nearby, but doesn't appear. What's that? Okay. Yep. Have I been there before? Uh-oh. Wolves. Okay. I need to spring them, and I need to get off the horse, because she's going to throw me off. I don't like killing wolves, but I'll try warning shots. But they, won't, they don't leave. They're way, too, they're way too brave. So I wait until I get a little closer. I know, it's poopy. I love wolves. Like, if I don't do it, they're gonna kill me. Yeah, that sucks. I really don't like killing wolves. Poopy, I know. This is a one-star gray wolf. This is a two-star. They usually travel in packs of three. And there is a three-star. So I can either pick up the wolf like this and put it on the back of my horse and take it to a trapper and sell it. Also, they all have different patterns of fur, and if you take the pelt, it actually corresponds with the pattern on their back, which is insane. 
but um, I'm gonna skin it. Ugh, that's so crude, I know. Uh, if you're squeamish, you probably don't want to see this, but what I do is I turn the camera like this so I don't have to see it, but yeah, he'll, he slices into it. Ugh. Yuck, that's so shitty. Ugh. Yeah, so that's how you get a belt. Oh my god, skinned wolf. Ugh. I feel so, I feel like a complete shithead for doing that, but damn it. Um, plus, when you do that, you automatically get the meat and uh, a wolf heart. I'm not sure what the wolf hearts are for. I think it's just for selling, maybe. I already have two wolf, wolf pelts on the back of my horse, and this will be my third one. See the pattern? That was the previous wolf's fur pattern, and this one's different. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so anyway. I wasn't hunting wolves. Hunting wolves were hunting me, so... Lily is definitely, um, she's afraid of these predators and she'll throw me off, so I jump off the horse and Easy there, girl. give her a chance to get away. These are all low-rank rabbits, but whatever. What's that? That's an eagle. I'm sorry, eagle. I'm so sorry. I need your feathers. I'm so sorry. I know, this is not... Hunting's fun, but I hate that they all scream in agony when I hunt them. I'm so, so sorry. He just plucks them out like that. And then he just tosses it to the ground like it's garbage. I know, that's so fucking mean. Poopy. Oh, jeez. Okay, so. Where was I on the map? That, I, that looks like an elk, but I haven't seen any. That's one other thing that kind of sucks. The game doesn't always have... Um, animals spawning in their designated locations. Is that another? That's I think that's a hawk. Yeah. Maybe it's an owl. I such a prick, man. Oh, it's too far away now. Oh, there's little boats. Okay. okay I need to slow down. There's some animals over there. I think those are wild horses. I don't want to. Obviously, I'm not going to hunt horses, but you can um, catch them and train them, keep them for yourself, or you can sell them. But what I like to do um, is just use the binoculars and push R1 to see their stats and their breed and their color, and then it updates the menu with the different animals that you explore and see. What's that? Oh, it's a beaver! Oh, cute! Two little beavers! I've hunted enough beavers, actually, so I don't need them. Yeah, see, that, um, I think, let me see, whoops, wrong button. He didn't draw a beaver, oh, there's a beaver right there. Um, I'm not sure what that means when the, when the, it says journal updated, there's, there's nothing in the journal. Yeah, nothing new, I'm not sure, I think that's a glitch. Someone's coming, I better get out of the way. Not everybody in Red Dead's friendly. Okay. Lots of random uh, things pop up in the game as well. Oh, what the horse is doing in the water? What's that animal in the water over there? What's that? That's another horse. What the hell is it doing in the lake? I've never seen that before. Look at the horse is like, get the fuck away from me. examining. Oh, duckies. You can hunt them too. There's a beaver. Oh, look at the little beaver swimming. They're so cute. I made a beaver into a hat. <laughs> oh, that's an elk. Holy shit. Okay. Let me get my gun. I think it might be too far away though. Huh. Yeah, it might be too far away. Shit. It's a bull elk. Okay. I'm too far away to call it though. have to be a headshot to make sure it's a three star and that wasn't but anyway when you're closer to the animal um, the call is what you do to make the animal put its head up in the air he whistles and the animal will look up like what the hell was that and when they look up their head's exposed blam and you shoot him in the head and you get a perfect kill this sounds terrible doesn't it i sound like a terrible terrible human being by killing these poor 
super sweet animal sweat. Like I said, it's just a video game. I have to keep reminding myself it's a game. Oh, please don't let the carcass disappear. Where'd it go? Oh, shit. Oh, it's funny. The carcass was standing and it fell over. I've seen that before. Awesome. These are not easy to find. For some reason, I need one with horns. Or antlers, excuse me. Um, yeah, he's too big to... Um, he's way too big to pick up, so I have to skin it. So what I like to do is put the camera way down here so I don't have to see... Ah, stop that game, I don't want to see that. In Red Dead Redemption, the, the game before this, whenever John Marston would... Um, oh, he's chopping the antlers off. Oh. When John Marston would... Um, hunt animals and skin them, the camera would just go to the bottom and you wouldn't have to see it, but this game's like, fuck that, you need to see it all. So now I got a big, big, beautiful elk belt, and I also have the meat, and I can give the okay, meat to the camp. Yeah, girl. I'm kind of far away from that area, though, if I remember right. That's cool, I was able to find an elk. Yeah, I'm way over here, I need to get way across the map, and thankfully there is fast travel in this game. My voice is starting to get a little hoarse, but whatever. Um, so I can fast travel by camping, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because now I got what I need. Um, I've got an elk pelt, but I also need a moose. Or, actually, I think I need two mooses. Two moose? I don't know if that's plural. I can cook some of the venison that I just caught. Minty oregano. So when you season meat, he actually puts it on top of that little thing and cooks it like this. That's if you want to cook it faster. Nom nom nom. Okay, so now I'm going to fast travel to Shady Bell, which is the name of the little plantation that my camp is at. There's still blood on my hands. Ew. So when you fast travel, the game uh, loading screen is beautiful. It just shows you the different areas that he traveled through to get to your destination, and it plays this very cool theme music. It shows landmarks and other things that you might have seen before or haven't seen. And as you can see, it's actually showing you the current weather conditions, and it looks like overcast, maybe even a rainstorm's coming. The amount of detail in this game is so ridiculous. Okay, one other thing. When I come to camp, unfortunately, everything just kind of pops up and spawns out of nowhere. So this is my current campsite. And, um, they have their, um, there's, oh, this is really hot, so I should change outfits because he's gonna get too hot. So I can leave that on my horse, because uh, when I take it to camp, you don't have to carry it if you don't want to. This is Javier. Stay alert there, Javier. Morning, Arthur. I have grown so attached to so many of these characters now that I like know who's who and what their personality. This is another great character. This is Hosea. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. He's one of the best best guys in the game. This is Miss Grimshaw. She's like the mother of the camp people. Miss Grimshaw. Good morning, Arthur. She's nice to me because I take good care. Okay, this is Micah. He's still here. Morning, Arthur. He is one of my favorite characters because he's a fucking bastard. He's a slimy son of a bitch. Saving yourself? Of course. Uh, wrong captions. It's when you behave yourself, I get worried. Whatever you say. Yeah, you don't get to see it right now, but Micah is such an asshole. He uh, he harasses all the women. He's racist. He's also um, he he just delights in hurting people. That wobbling drunk over there—that's Uncle. Everyone's favorite uncle. Have a seat and a swig, Arthur. He's a very likable character. He's in the previous game too. He's a sloppy, drunk, kind of a moron, but anyway. So this is Pearson. He is the, uh, I guess, cook, and he is also the person that you take items to. For... Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Okay, I think I, I need will. two antlers, and I'm going to donate some other stuff. I don't need a rat. I just guess the they... time, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Where's the venison I just had caught? Okay, 
so I'm gonna donate some of these for meat. Good, we really needed this. This will feed the camp, and also when they make food for everybody, you can eat it and you get more points and stuff. So, um, now that I've donated a pelt, antlers, Good job, um, Mr. Morgan. I'll go to crafting upgrades, I've and then come he up can with some do ideas stuff for in ways the game. We could improve things around here. If I you think I've, think yeah, I've updated most of the stuff already. So yeah, see, I caught a prog horn. It's like a some kind of deer. Oh, I need moose antlers, not elk. I could have sworn there was something for elk. Yep, there we go. I don't know what this does, but like I said, I guess it just increases morale and makes everybody happy. The Boy Scouts will be very pleased. I need two goats. And usually goats are in farms, and I hate killing farm animals too because not only I'm slaughtering animals, I won't be able to make that for you without I'm more killing other people's animals' livestock. I've almost got this is Arthur's room, and yeah, see, I got certain animal carcasses and stuff for um, just doing this for a trophy. I don't really need to do this, but I want to because I'm a, like I said, I'm a completionist. So anyway. Um, I guess all I need now is, uh, moose. I need two goat hides and a set of moose antlers. I think everything else is updated and I need two, oh, satchels. So, these are really cool satchels, depending on which ones you craft, have different, uh, like more room for different supplies. But once you craft all of the satchels, you get what's called the Legend of the East, which basically has unlimited Just space. My items are uh, or 99 of everything, which is very helpful. But uh, what's cool about the game is after that, you can pick whatever satchel you want, and it's still technically the uh, legendary one. So you can, for aesthetic purposes, this is my favorite. I like the little crosses on it. So, anyway. That is Pearson. A bit more like home. Over here, he cooks stew for everybody to eat, and Arthur can also eat the stew. Let's see, what time is it? It is 12, uh, 12 34 p.m. Let's see. Yeah, see, I, I put some pelts there for people to sit, and also some um, pelts for people to sleep on. I believe this is Mary Beth over here. Hey there. You can, there, Arthur. you can be a dickhead and antagonize everybody, but I'm being a good guy, so I'm always friendly to everyone. Which also increases morale. People give you presents and stuff if you're nice to them. So, this is the plantation mansion. It's uh, pretty beat up, but it beats the hell out of sleeping in the woods, which is where we've been most of the game. It's actually, I think it's quite nice, even though it's old and beat up. This is Tilly. Beautiful little African-American southern belle. My lady. My lady. Hey, Arthur. She's very charming, but she's, I mean, what I love about this game, all the characters, are, or most of them, are very likable, and, you know, some people complain about women, and, you know, the Wild West, like, they had no purpose but cooking and so Not in this game. All these women, especially in the gang, are all professional criminals, like, they know how to rob banks and stuff. This is John Marston's wife, Abigail. Hey. Hi, Uncle Arthur. And this is, where is he? Uh, he's invisible apparently. Where the hell is Jack? Was that a glitch? Where is he? <laughs> he's not here. Jack is John's son, and if you played Red Dead Redemption 1, who's singing? Is that Karen? Oh shit. I think that's Karen. I love Karen. She's like the only Karen that's cool. It's not. She's not like an okay Karen. She's a good Karen. Jack is John's son, and like I was trying to say, if you've played the first Red Dead Redemption, Jack is actually a very, um, he grows up and he turns out to be quite a badass, but anyway. Contribute. This is how you increase the funds. See the number at the top right? That is the, the funds of the camp, and the $3,000 is my funds. Uh, I loot a lot of people when uh, I'm in gunfights and stuff, so, um, when I loot, I get, um, jewelry and stuff, and I think that's one of the easiest ways to find the camp. These are just for um, cash, so I go ahead and just give that to the camp. These aren't worth that much, but every little bit helps. However, other items are, like, rare, and they're used for crafting. You don't want to give those away. You want to keep those for crafting. 
So, and you can also see the top, oh, that little thing right there meant that I got some an order an honor point for helping out. The top right has three symbols. The one on the left is um, health items. The one in the middle is ammunition, and the third one is food. So, in order to increase the um, the different stats of oops, wrong button. Um, you want to help supply the camp with each. Unfortunately, they apparently can't do it themselves because people are kind of lazy, I guess. You go to the ledger, and the ledger shows you who's contributed what. So, uh, Hosea gave away a gold pocket watch. Charles donated a moose antler. That's all it is. Susan, the measly crow feather for 30 cents. Come on. Look at all my donations. Arthur, 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 Arthur. Sadie gave $3 and said, you guys are so incompetent. Anyway, um, I've already pimped out the camp with all the necessary uh, supplies that make the game a lot easier. So I'm just increasing. I, I don't have to use my own money, thankfully. I use the, the uh, camp's funds, but whenever I do a job, I get cash for myself, and the camp gets cash as well, separately. So anyway, um, that's the how to pimp out the camp, and how to get the camp more organized. And this is Arthur's room, which is also like the ammunition, ammunition store thing. I got some arrows right there. I'm usually maxed out on all the best ammo, so I don't, um, I don't need most of this stuff here. Um, this is cool. When you help out other characters in the camp, they leave you presents. This is predator bait, which is excellent for hunting. Predators, obviously. Um, let's see, I'm trying to... Dang it. Uh, a chocolate bar, which is, uh, very good to have, because you can, um, increase your health a little bit. Um, hair pomade, I'll show you what that is in a minute. Oh, Miracle Tonic, this is one of the best items. Okay, so, I forget how you exam- oh, inspect, okay. So, this is a picture of Arthur's father, who was a criminal when he was younger, anyway. This is his dog, adorable. This is a picture of Dutch in the middle, that's the leader of the camp, and he's like the father figure of Arthur. Arthur's on the, um, on the right. So handsome. He must have been like 19. And that's Hosea on the left. That's the elderly gentleman that we were talking to a few minutes ago. He's a really good character. And this beautiful portrait. Portrait? Portrait. This is Arthur's mother. Her name was Beatrice Morgan. I think she passed away. I'm not sure. There's also a newspaper clipping, and I forget what it says, but anyway, I don't want to bore you too much, so let's see. This is my bed, where you can obviously sleep. Oh, the shaving. The shaving kit. This is a lot of fun, so. Oh, I've already palmated my hair, which is, like, bag. You can make Arthur look almost any way you want. You can make him bald. You can make him have a, like, you can make him look like Grizzly Adams. I love long hair on guys, plus I think he looks hot as hell with long hair. But you can, uh, oh, you can only trim your facial hair here. Um, unfortunately, Red Dead Redemption 2, ever since a certain update, the hair growth mechanic is kind of broken, so it doesn't always work. But anyway, I always just like to have him have a badass mustache. I always wondered why there's a little spot in the middle of his chin that's actually a scar, and that's why he can't grow hair there. Isn't that interesting? So, I just go ahead and shave that off, and shave this off. His mustache is stuck at level 8, but when it's on level 10, he looks like the diabetes dude, or Tom Selleck. <laughs> or Sam Elliott, I forget the, you know what I'm talking about. But I love his mustache, but... Here's what it would look like. He looks a lot younger without facial hair, but I love facial hair as well. Especially for a cowboy. You gotta have an epic handlebar mustache. Yeah, looking good, Arthur. Okay. So, let's see. It's uh, 115. I've been trying this, but it doesn't seem to work. At least not that much. But in order to make his hair grow faster... I know, I'm a sucker for the cosmetic shit. I'm weird. To make his hair grow faster, you can drink something called hair tonic. 
Hair tonic is a magical potion, I guess, that makes Arthur's hair grow faster. But what you have to do is sleep and travel and do missions in order for it to actually take effect. If you drink, I looked it up, if you drink three before sleeping a long time, it tends to grow a little faster. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna have him sleep 17 hours. That's a long time. But he works his ass off. He can use the rest. Ah, so pretty, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, the uh, indicator said I dropped some weight. Yeah, see, his, uh, his hair is growing a little bit already. I check on my stats whenever it says my character's weight dropped or increased to make sure. I think, yeah, it's still stuck on average. Per, uh, perfect weight is difficult to maintain. I still don't really know how to do it. It's it's a pain in the ass, so I just keep him on average health. Hello. So, yeah, he's growing. His mustache doesn't seem to want to go anywhere above level 8. Oh, see how his hair pomade, it just makes it shinier. But this particular haircut that I chose at the barber shop, it's called Slick Back, and his hair always looks tidy. <laughs> I know, I'm such a weirdo when it comes to customization. So yeah, the mustache is still stuck on level 8. I don't think it's going to get any longer than that now. I had it on level 10, but I had to do this friggin' mission where he, he had to shave all his facial hair off to look like a gentleman and play poker somewhere, and I'm like, God damn it. I want to keep his hair long. But whatever. Um, let's see. Oh, you can fast travel right from the camp, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We're try to figure out where I should go, what I should do here. I still need moose, and moose are not easy to find. But I'm going to try to see if I can find a moose, and I can do alternate stuff. There's always different things to do. There's a moose right there. Cool. But they're not easy to find. And there's also big cats and bears. This place is very dangerous. Um, it's near Annisburg, so I'm going to go ahead and fast travel there. And I'm going to put a marker right there. I think I'll get rid of the markers everywhere else. Okay. Like a little, um, what do you call it? A waypoint. So, now I'm going to fast travel to Annisburg. Which is the closest to that particular area. I hope you guys are enjoying this, because I am. It's very relaxing and fun. Hopefully it's not too boring. But I know that some people like to watch videos as they sleep, and um, I do too, so. And it actually prevents my braces from causing more pain. <laughs> Sometimes I want to skip the loading screen, but you can't deny how beautiful the scenery is in this game. on PS Pro, by the way. I've seen what it looks like on PC, which is much more superior, but PS Pro, it's, it's pretty awesome. Plus, I love the music. Love, love, love the music in this game, especially during missions where you're gunfighting. Everything sounds so badass. So now we got clear weather. Yeah, it takes quite a while to get up there because we're it's like way at the top of the map, so it takes a little longer to get there. And here we are. I need to cut real quick. Oh, I still have the elk pelt. Damn, I meant to give it away. That's okay, I'll give it to a trapper. I'm gonna take a quick little, little jump cut break. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, this is Annisburg. It's uh, like a little coal mining town. People are pretty friendly up here, actually. I don't see any trappers nearby, but I do need to get rid of the pelt if I'm gonna get a moose. Oh, there's a trapper right there. Great. Trapper. Oops. 
trapper is the person that can craft all the stuff for the um, for clothes and other materials, and that's what makes hunting fun. You always want to go back to camp and supply money, material, or money and uh, food and other things to keep morale up and also to keep everybody fed. So everything you do in the game feels like you're accomplishing something, but you don't have to. You can be an asshole to everybody and kill whoever you want, and you can rob whoever you want if you are so inclined. Oops. But um, I'm um, at least my first playthrough. I'm, I'm yeah. a good guy. Listen to that music. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, did you hear that noise? That was an elk. I've got a little bit of a real life story. That's pretty cool. My dad um, was a hunter and a fisher. He taught me how to fish. Hi there, mister. I loved fishing with my dad. We went to Canada and I caught a pike that was, uh, it was at least it was like 20 pounds and my dad fished his whole life he said i've never caught a fish that big in my life um, he took a picture i wish i still had it um but it was lost and uh, i also wrote a memoir and that was also lost but i'll never forget it it was really cool he actually caught a pike that was eating another pike how crazy is that it's badass it was such a nice trip we went to the northwest territories there was nothing but lakes and um just lakes and pine trees and some black bears but they didn't bug us they went they did go to the trash at one point at the lodge and the owner just shot a gun in the air and he ran off um we went fishing and we would pretty much toss all the fish back in the lake after catching them so it's just for fun but on a couple occasions, we would catch fish and the lodge owner would cook them. And I can't tell you, the best fish I've ever tasted in my entire life was fresh caught walleye. They're called walleye because they have these big eyes that stick out to the sides. And uh, but the Canadians call it wally. <laughs> like wally. Wallies. So friggin' delicious. I cannot tell you. And I heard animals that I've never heard before. One of them was called loons, and they make this cool noise. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't imitate it, but yeah, loons are, God. There was also squirrels running around underneath the cabin that we were sleeping in. We had like our own tiny little cabin. Yeah. Um, another weird thing is the sun didn't set until like 11 o'clock at night. So it was like daytime all the time. And oh, there's a rabbit. Oh, three star. Let's go ahead and see if I can catch it. But they're fast. You gotta be quick. Oh, sorry, Lily. So anyway, um, that little cabin, and, uh, oh shit, you're gonna scare it away. Lily, where are you going? Okay, so, uh, what was I? I was talking about Canada. The sun did, oh, the, the air, one more thing, the air was so fresh. Like, the air was so clean up there that my body wasn't used to it and couldn't take it. So, um, uh, the air was literally sucking the life out of me. Not, well, it made me so tired because it was like I was getting high off the air. There's that bunny. He's slowing down. Shit, it's like he knows I'm coming after him. Okay, if I'm quick enough, I might be able to... Damn. Nope, he's getting away. God damn. Okay, I'm not gonna outrun him. I better just call, call it quits. So the air made me so tired, so I kept falling asleep. It was insane. Oh, there's a little skunk. And uh, it was really cool, weird to for the sun to not set till 11 o'clock. I don't know what this is. I don't think I've been here before. It looks abandoned. You always want to explore everything in this game because you always find goodies lying around or weird storyline stuff, or he'll draw something in his journal. Uh, the other cool thing. Oh, yeah, it's boarded up. I can't even go inside. Damn. I wonder why it's boarded up. Kick it. Oh, no, no such luck. Um, I'm trying to remember what else about that trip. At one point, we went fishing and in the morning, like really early. Oh, I remember now. I started to fall asleep on the boat, and the lodge owner who was fishing with us at the time said, Don't fall asleep. I'm like, why? And he's like, the air is so cold out here. This is one of the first stages of hyperthermia. I'm like, I feel like I can't stay awake. It's so cold. No shivering. He's like, yeah, stay awake. 
So we went back to camp because I was actually starting to get hypothermic. That's never happened to me before. So, and one other thing about the trip, oh my god. So there was like a natural forest fire somewhere and it blew smoke in a certain direction which made all the mosquitoes um, migrate to where we were. So there were mosquitoes everywhere. It was awful. And I, I've always, for some reason, uh, some mosquitoes don't like to bite some people, but for whatever reason, it might be because my skin is so pale and maybe, come, maybe my blood is sweet or something, I was getting eaten alive. Hey, it's a fox. Aw, cute. You know, little guy. And it's a three star, but I've already hunted enough of them. I don't need another one. So, uh, I was getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Oh, Jesus, it was awful. I came home covered, absolutely covered in bug bites from head to toe. And eventually I ran out of uh, lotion and bug spray and the camp. So, the only way to, make the, to take the edge off the fucking bites was to dig my fingernail into the bites and do like a little X to squeeze the poison out. Oh. That sucked. It was so unpleasant. Ugh. And despite the mosquitoes and the cold, it was the most fun I've ever had. It was awesome. The lodge was like a series of little cabins, and one big cabin that had like a, like an actual lodge lobby, and uh, no TV, no electricity, just a generator. Hey there, mister. And uh, oh, see, some people are dickheads. Uh, like I was saying. Uh, the lodge had cabins, a generator, and uh, a couple of outhouses with uh, showers. It was very cold, but it was lake water, and it was so clear. I've never, because I, I live in the desert, the water's terrible out here, but um, the water was so clear and fresh, and at one point when we were fishing, we had to stop on a little island. That's kind of what it looks. See that area right there? That's a lot like what the Jeez, West, Northwest whoa. Territories look like. Like, no mountains, but flat area with trees and lakes and rivers. Gorgeous. So we had to stop at one point. I had to go to the bathroom. And yes, I had to lean on a rock and squat and do my business. Which was funny. But also, um... Oh, I think I've been here. I caught a bounty here. Yeah, this is a campsite for criminals, but they're not there anymore because I killed all of them. So I had to go to the bathroom, and then I was really thirsty, and we didn't- we ran out of water. So he said, you can drink out of the lake, it's okay. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. Never drank fresh lake water. It- I- yeah. my god. It's like it tasted sweet. In a good way. You know how those stupid water bottles say, fresh spring water from blah 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 mountains? Bullshit. Ooh, a squirrel! I need a squirrel. They're not easy to kill, but I need one. I got a rabbit too, but oh, come on, get off the horse. The water was so, 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 so pleasant because it was fresh and clean, completely unpolluted. I know people are gonna probably make jokes. I know my dad did. It's like, yeah, it was sweet because of parasites, and you're gonna get dysentery. <laughs> anyway, so that's my story about Canada. Hunting and fishing. Jesus Christ. I need to, like, stop chasing this little guy, but I know I'm not going to be able to... Come on, little guy. Oh, he's turning away. He knows I'm trying to hunt him, so he's, like, I'm trying to keep his head away. Got him. Oh, no, I injured him. Oh, when I injure them, but they can still run away, I let them go. Because I'm like, okay, live. I feel bad. Sorry. Anyway, that was my story about Canada. Some anecdotes, anecdotes, anecdotes about myself. And my, I was 16 at the time, by the way. That was way back in 2002. Canada's fucking awesome. Oh, one more thing about it. I almost forgot. The camp owner's son, and I can't remember any of their names. The lodge owner has a son, right? And uh, at one point, he was wearing a short, a short sleeved shirt. And he had scars all over his body. Huge scars. Hey, partner. Be on your way and get out of mine. Don't take that tone. I said hello. Yeah, I'm just gonna be going. What a dickhead. People are so rude around here sometimes. So the guy was covered in scars. I thought he was eaten by a shark. 
huge gashes with some flesh missing missing in some of his like extremities i said did you get hurt at some point i'm like was it a bear you know something he he said no i want to see the rest he lifted up his shirt he was absolutely covered in these massive gashes and scars it looked awesome but it was also terrifying and i asked him what happened yeah i wasn't rude i will not a squirrel ah, two star okay. what about that one three star i'm not gonna catch it let's try again i'm trying to tell the story while i'm trying to get the damn squirrel um Nah, he's too far away. God damn it. Anyway, he uh, was in a motorcycle accident. It, it, like he flew off his bike and just got shredded up on gravel or something. Yep. So it was like a monstrous motorcycle accident. And because of that, I never, ever, ever, ever want to ride a motorcycle. Nope. Not for me. I love motorcycles, but I ain't getting on one. No way, Jose. So... I think that's the last of my anecdotes of that story about Canada. Hope you enjoyed it. So, um, oh, my dad was also a hunter. When we were younger, we lived, we didn't live on a farm, but we lived, uh, sort of, I guess it was a, not a farm, just a small house that had, like, we had, yeah. we were raising chickens. And, uh, my dad would hunt for fish and meat to bring home to cook. And I remember we ate bear and we ate elk. It's insane how different it tastes from beef. It's really good, so especially venison, which is uh, elk meat or deer meat. I can barely remember what it tastes like at this point because it was so long ago. God damn, this this trapper seems a lot further. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh no, where, where am I? No wonder. Damn it! It took me to a trapper that's like a million miles away. Where the- oh, okay, here we go. That's- that was the wrong one. Damn. But now I, yeah. I realize it's closer. Wait, what's There that? we go. That's a wild boar. These are turkeys. I wish I was- oh, hello, piggy. Um, we have those where I live. They're called javelinas, and they're so mean. And they're very dangerous, and they stink really bad. I wish I was recording. There was a turkey that was flying in the air. I'm like, turkeys don't fly, do they? It was just kind of gliding. Let me know in the comments. Do, do turkeys fly? I've never seen a turkey fly. I thought they were like chickens where they just kind of flap their wings and they can make a little air and that's it. So anyway, this turkey was flying yeah. and then it, it kind of drifted like a, like a hawk. And it kept swooping down and just swooping back up. I think it was a glitch. And then it very slowly flew into a rock and then dropped to the ground and died. I was laughing so hard. I'm like, what the fuck? Why did the turkey fly into a rock and kill itself? So I uh, took the turkey and cooked it. <laughs> I didn't feel guilty because I didn't kill it. Lots of animals up here. I better check the map and find out what kind of animals. Oh, excellent. I don't know if... Is that a moose? That doesn't look like a moose, does it? That's a moose with a droopy fit. This must be a bull elk or something? I already caught an elk, though. That's why I'm going to the trapper to yep. give him this pelt and horns. Um, he can craft things, but um, you can also give him stuff to... You can just sell it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna sell the... That's another thing. Bunnies love to run in the middle of the freaking... There's another squirrel! Come on! Come on! I gotta catch it! I gotta catch it! Damn it! I need one squirrel! That's all! Just one squirrel! Come on! Come on! I missed. No! I got it! I got it. Whoa! 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 Okay. Nice. I just needed one. I'm sorry, little fella. You're so cute. Why are there flies all over it? Oh, cool, see? Oh, did I already? Did, oh, I found poster, da 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 da. Okay, I don't know if I got the up. rabbit pelt. Cool, see, that was a cha not a challenge, it was a little side quest, a fetch quest. Somebody needed yep. a squirrel and a rabbit. You're all right, girl. So that's why I did that. Sorry, little squirrel. I love animals, I love squirrels, I love pretty much every animal, so. 
hunting, it's like I feel like a dick, especially for shooting birds. They're just soaring through the sky. That's a bear. Sometimes it's ambience, just regular ambience, but nine times out of ten, it's the calls of real animals that are in the woods. Here's the trapper. It's always the same guy, but he's got spots all over the map. And it's funny, he's always like shouting, blah blah blah, come see my wares, but he's in the middle of nowhere. I'm his only customer, I think. But he does have one stand in the middle of Saint Denis, which is like the big fancy town. But anyway. Jeez. And what sucks is, um, if I want to sell him my pelt, That's at least that I've seen, I have to park so, my horse like, right in front of it. It doesn't work if I pick up the pelt and bring it to him. It's supposed to be, but the game's glitchy. So anyway. Right, let's see. So, I've got a cougar, a fox, three wolves, um, I'll keep the carcass, because I want to see how long it lasts, and then the elk. Uh, I'll give him the- oh no, I don't want to give him the squirrel, because I need that. Give him the rats. Yeah, so anyway. This is why Been a pleasure you, doing business with you. This is why All you- All made to uh, measure. You can get garment sets. <laughs> see the bear? You get these outfits and other items from what's called legendary animals. And legendary animals are like massive albino versions of animals and they're very, like I got this entire outfit from killing the legendary ram. Um, you get like gloves, hats, vests, jackets, moccasins, that kind of, this is funny, I love this one, the fucking hat is so funny looking. Um, it's from the bison, it's got little horns, he looks like a viking or something. That sombrero. Da -da 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 Mexican hat dance. Um. Proghorn chaps. This look kind of cool. I'm a little picky about what I buy though, because I don't have a lot of supplies. I don't need that. Some, some things I don't really like. <laughs> that hat. Oh my god. It's so silly looking. I can buy it though. Nah. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> so silly looking. I look like one of those Russian dudes that dance. I think it's Russian, I don't know. Clothing. So, yeah, these are the hats that I made from certain animals. A badger, a beaver, a fox, a oh, whole poor thing. A skunk. I like the skunk. There's another bear hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to make... I like the... Oh! Oh, I don't have enough rats. I like this one. This is a rat hat. That's the snake hat I showed you earlier. I don't like most of these. Uh, they're kind of meh. That's one of my favorites. See? Look at the bones. Isn't that cool? And then you've got accessories. Little feathers and stuff that you can put. And I got some of them. Um, my favorite is this one. I, it was turkey, duck, and chicken feathers. At first, my husband thought it was funny looking. He said, this looks like those hats that the women wear in the 1800s. I'm like, I think it looks cool. It's got like a Native American thing going on. You see, these require certain feathers and stuff. But um, yeah, I like the pioneer hat best because it, it's just cool looking. Yeah, that's my favorite, at least for that. We also made all these different saddles, which have different stats to make the horse more powerful. I had your youth. These days. Don't have any new equipment. These don't seem to do anything other than just look cool. Different belts and um, holsters for the gun and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more gun oil sure. and cover scent lotion. You put that on so that animals can't smell you when you're hunting. And that's that. So, I think I'll play a little bit longer and see if I can catch a moose, but they're very hard to find, so if I don't catch a moose, I- because the game- the, I think the video's already past an hour at this point, so I think I'm gonna go for the- go for the moose, and then, uh, I think I'll call it a day for now. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I've never done anything like this before. Gameplay with soft-spoken. People- so I, I think my voice is obnoxious, but some people say they love my voice, and I really find that, like, very flattering, but I don't know how they could possibly like my voice.
ways, but... Oh, see, that's not the moose. How far away is this? Oh, not too far. Wish me luck, let's see. Anyway, so someone said that they like my voice. I'm like, well, maybe they like it better if I wasn't so damn loud. Plus, it makes it, makes it easier to talk with yeah. braces on. So far, I haven't had any pain, which is awesome. I don't always have pain with these um, Invisalign. They're like braces that are clear, and you put them in your mouth, and uh, you, uh, sorry, I was distracted. Um, you snap them in, take them out to eat. And uh, my dog is in the room, and she just farted. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. Her farts are so nasty. She does it in her sleep, too. She'll just... And I never hear it. I just... It's silent, but deadly. It's like a little... I imagine if I were to put a microphone up to her butt, it would be like... <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about? I always lose my train of thought. You're good, girl. like a vulture. Little cute songbirds. Um, I just said I'd never done anything like this before where I just- oh, oh, I was talking about the bird. Would you stop farting, Moo Dally, for fuck's sake? Oh, why? She's sitting like four feet away from me and it's just emitting from her butt. Oh, God. She's so close. Uh oh, wolves. Let's go. I don't want to hunt any more wolves. I'm just gonna haul ass and get the fuck out of here. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Easy now. Good girl. Hey, it's a doggy. I like to examine doggies because they're different breeds. You okay, boy? To the dog. Howdy. What I give for a horse as fine as that. See? Thank you. They like to compliment. What kind of dog is that? Oh, it's a lab. Oh, it's a chocolate lab. How cute. If the if the dog wasn't busy, um get back. Oh god damn it. If the wolves come here, they're gonna try to kill the dog and the guy. I better save them. Shit, 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 shit. I better get my own. Springfield. Okay, dude. Well, anyway, how's your day been so far? <laughs> it's, wow. Don't thank me or anything. Hey, look. Lily just pooped. One star and three star. Hmm. And yeah, what the hell? I could use the meat. I don't like to waste animals. And I don't like killing them, but when they come after me, man, I, first thing I thought is if I don't kill that wolf, he might kill the dog. I don't care if he kills people. I just don't want any dogs to die. <laughs> Hypocrite much? Oh, there goes my doggy again. Just a moment, let me mute my mic again real quick. You eyed me up on your way. I said hello, tough guy. How many hellos do you need? Okay, settle down there. That was funny. Wow, I actually deflected his bullshit. Come on, girl. Now as you can see, Lily is starting to turn gray. And when that happens, I mean she's getting dirty, and you want to clean your You're horse. You're a brave girl. Aww. It takes two seconds. You just brush her, and it actually helps her stats as well. When horses get dirty, they get agitated, and they get, um, you know, they just don't feel good. Anyway, let's continue. I had to turn my mic off while I was telling Moody to settle down. Yeah. It sucks. I mean, I'm glad she protects our home, but she gets way too gung-ho. What is that? Oh, it's a doggy. 
Aww, where's your owner? Hey, boy. Oh, he's not abandoned, is he? Oh, Poopy, I wish I could adopt him. Hi. My dog, Tally, the one I was talking about who's farting. She's a yellow lab. Mm, so cute. Well, I hope you find your owner. Especially out here, man. There's a lot of predators. Great. Tally is sitting right next okay. to me now. My girl. I love my baby. I love my Tally. She's yep. stinky. I call her my stinky Twinkie because she looks like a Twinkie. Probably should have named her Twinkie. I named her Tally after the Mass Effect character. Because she's pretty and she's sweet. Who's this guy? Another hunter? Hey there! Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. Hi. What's that? That's a deer. Oh, fox. Man, it, I hate killing foxes because they make a terrible little puppy. Like a puppy. Help, like, it's so poopy. I didn't mean to whistle. <laughs> Alright, um, go ahead and get my stats up. <gasps> it's the feral man. If you follow my Twitter, you saw the video. This guy is a. He's like a wolf man. He grew up with wolves. I'll show you. But he might attack me, and I don't want to kill him, and I don't want to kill his wolves, because he grew up with them as pups. He's not a bad guy. He's somewhere... If you ever want to find him, he's right over here. Oh god, there's cats. He's, he has a cave right here, with two wolves. If I found out, if you're a good guy, he won't, at least for me at first, he won't attack you, but if you're a bad guy, he'll attack you immediately. He's up there somewhere. Or maybe he's in the cave already? I think he's inside the cave. So the first time I came here, I saw the two wolves. If you kill them, you lose an honor point. Where's my... Uh-oh. My lantern's gone. What the fuck? Oh. Uh... My lantern is gone. See? There's his wolves. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. He won't attack me if I get a fuck out of here. That's me mashing the button. I do not want to kill him or his wolves. You can kill him and then take his diary. He's got a very sad backstory. I won't spoil it. That's just a random encounter NPC. But um, the first time I saw him, I saw him running in the woods butt naked. You can see his junk and everything. And, um,. My horse horses will not go anywhere near him because they're just terrified, you know? So anyway, that's the feral man. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Naked dude with two wolves, but it's pretty cool that he won't attack you unless you threaten him. But my friend Kyle, aka Exile Draco, will, uh, he said his, his honor was all the way down, so the feral man actually attacked him immediately. So I think it has to do with honor, like, he can sense that you're a bad guy, so he'll try to kill you. But for me, he just retreats and says, LEAVE! Oh shit, I need my weapons. Oh, I got my Springfield, okay. It's really hard to find moose. <gasps> Wait a minute. Please tell me that's a moose. No, it's an elk. Damn it. I don't need an elk, I need a moose. I need the antlers, anyway. They are not easy to find, and... I found a video on YouTube that shows you... It's an elk. You can see that I'm here, obviously. Yeah, run away. I don't need you anyway. That's cool. Sometimes I point the rifle at an animal just to see what kind of animal they are. Not to shoot them, just to see is that the right animal. So I found a video on YouTube that shows you how to get an elk to... A stranger. It's a buck. How to get the elk to spawn. And it's ridiculous because you have to load your save. Wow. Sometimes they attack you. A lot of different animals, including muskrats, will just charge and bite you. I had a raccoon bite me too. I had a possum. Hey, the guy's fishing. Hey, buddy. Hey, partner. Aww. I think this dog is trying to protect him. Yeah. 
She's telling me to piss off. Okay, okay. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <gasps> Wait a minute. Why is there danger music? Someone's coming after me. Uh-oh. This has never happened before. See the red thing on the map? That means then the music is dynamic, so it's changing. I don't know who's coming after me, but I'm gonna be ready. I'm not wanted anywhere, so except for Blackwater, but I'm nowhere near Blackwater. I can get my horse. <gasps> like things getting bigger. <gasps> Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? What the hell? This has never happened before. I'm confused. I'm here to hunt a moose, not fight people. I'm gonna go back. I wanna see. Maybe it was the Lemoyne Raiders. Lemoines, there's different gangs, rival yeah. gangs, and they. Whoops, sorry. You're all right now, girl. Um, the rivaling gangs will try to kill you. But I've also approached their camps and killed them, because I know if I did, I could grab their shit, but they, you know, they would have killed me anyway. Who the fuck were those people? Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> it wasn't law enforcement because the law icon didn't appear. I don't really see. They were in this direction. Beaver Hollow. I don't. I've never encountered enemies there. That's strange. Occasionally, like I said, you'll find a camp. A camp that has um, more enemies. I guess they just magically vanished. That's interesting. That's so weird. Well, whatever. I guess they're gone. Well, I'm gonna try it. Wow, dude, look at this. Look how beautiful this game is. You're okay, girl. Wow. Oh, another thing? Oh, look at that waterfall, dude. I love to just sightsee and even watch birds and stuff. Whenever you what, what's that? so funny sometimes I'm hunting and I'm like oh what kind of animal is that and it's a fucking rock of course every chance you get you see smoke go up to it because sometimes you'll sit at a camp and talk to somebody with interesting stories or uh, a bad guy camp or most often which is retarded but I guess it makes sense in the wild west it'll be some random dude just camping and he'll be like hey piss off what are you doing here and of course you can antagonize him and even rob him kill him but um I tend to just what's that that was leaves see what I mean they look like animals don't they oh no they were rocks rolling down the hill yeah so people will be like get out of here what do you do here piss off and I do. But if you want to be a bad guy, you can just be like, fuck you, and shoot them in the head. Or throw dynamite at them. <laughs> Whatever you want. Take their money. A lot of NPCs don't tend to have a lot of money. You make more money by, like, robbing trains and robbing stagecoaches. Those are coyotes. I live in the desert, and a lot of these animals are where I live, too. But... Okay. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. That is a wild cat. It's coming at me fast. Oh shit! God damn. Run, Lily, run, run! Damn. Shit! Dude, I'm gonna die. Oh shit. My health is really low. That was scary. Oh my god. That, that cat could have killed my horse. You bastard. <laughs> I don't need it. Did you see its eyes? In the, in the night, the eyes glow. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, when I saw the red blip and I saw it closing in, I knew it was a wild cat. It was gonna be a cougar or a panther. Poor Lily. She's, she gets so spooked. Normally she'd throw me right off. Yeah, I lost my hat back there, but I can get it back right from her. I think she's nervous still. She's okay. Oh, that was an adventure, wasn't it? Okay. So, I don't see any moose around here. I'm gonna look for just a few more minutes and then I think I'm gonna end the video and I can continue more later. Hey, Damn it. 
Damn. I just don't ever see... I saw a moose, like, once. And I tried to hunt it, but I... I it, like, ran away. I don't think I'm gonna find it. Yep. There's other places where moose are supposed to spawn. There's animals that are hard to find. One of them is rats. The other one is moose. Owls. Oh, is that a rat? That's a muskrat. Yep. Throw it up. They make cute noises, don't they? Another funny thing is I found a possum that was laying down pretending to be dead, hence the term play possum. An actual possum was playing dead. And I looked at it, crouched down, the little bastard got up and bit me. It's like, fuck off! So funny. I'm not finding any. Lots of deer, lots of rabbits as usual. So funny. I swear, every time I'm hunting a certain animal, I can never fucking find them. It takes forever. And when I'm not, they're everywhere! Go figure. Oh, like I'm saying, herbs, common bulrush is uh, horse feed, but you can also use it to craft medicines and other stuff for horses. Bull, uh, bull, what is it? Burdock root? Some herbs are definitely very helpful. Anything with tobacco is good for snake oil. Anything for, uh, like oleander sage is a poison that you can, um, craft poisonous ammo. Stuff like that. Well, doesn't, see, I don't see any moose around here. Of course. They tend to be near lakes and rivers. I don't see shit. Ah. I'm not gonna shoot it. Just... Oh, it's a toad. <laughs> Little toad. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I'm not finding any moose yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. And once I have moose antlers, I think I will... Oh, I'll be almost done with decorating the campsite for everybody. Hello, Bambi. It's pretty heartbreaking if you don't- because the first time I didn't really know about hunting. <laughs> Clumsy deer. Um, I shot a deer and injured it by accident, and they fall to the ground squealing in pain. And then you can do a mercy kill. It's awful. It's so realistic. I hate it. But like I said, the more I hunted, the more desensitized I get, but I still don't like doing it because it's, it's still just so realistic, and I swear- it, even when I'm just playing by myself, every time I killed an animal, I'd go, I'm sorry. But that's not a moose, is it? Is that just a tree trunk? Yes, it's a tree trunk, of course. Moose are friggin' huge, so you'd be able to tell where it is. So, that I think that completes my soft spoken RDR2 Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you'd like this to be a thing, or if this was just a weird thing, or if it was interesting, but you prefer I just talk like I normally do. But like I said, um, talking softly really helps to reduce pain in my braces. So anyway, um, hopefully I didn't hate ET too much. So, me and Lily bid you good night, and I hope you enjoy your day, weekend, whatever. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.